Hey, what is up guys? Alex here from TechnoClass.com coming to you with an unboxing of the uh, Cherry Mobile Astro Big Time Bundle. This is the bundle phone that comes with the new product called Cherry Prepaid. This is a uh, new sort of category of a new telco kind of uh, powered by Globe and this is one of their bundles. This is priced at 999 pesos but please keep in mind that this is a very basic phone. It's got a single core one gigahertz processor, some very, very, very small memory, uh, but it runs Android 4.4.2 KitKat and surprisingly has a front-facing camera. Actually, we're gonna review this right now. I'm gonna tell you what I think about it in just a little bit. We'll see you guys in just a bit. All right, guys, so do keep in mind that this is a review of the phone itself, not the Cherry prepaid SIM that resides inside. So just keep that in mind. I'm not reviewing the actual telco part of this phone. I'm reviewing the uh, phone itself. All right, to save a little bit of time, here's what's inside the box. Here's some uh, terms and conditions of use from uh, Globe Telecom. Here's a uh, sort of getting started from Cherry prepaid. Here's the user manual for the actual phone. A screen protector is uh, comes with the box. Here's the battery. I believe it's 1,100 milliamps. Uh, a uh, sort of a card that where's the where the SIM comes from. SIM is already inside there. We have a 600 milliamp charger, 3.5 millimeter headphone, and a USB cable. All right, so we are looking at what's underneath the back case of the uh, Cherry Mobile Astro, and as you can see, only one SIM slot is accessible. This is SIM two. Uh, and SIM 1 is permanently plugged in there somewhere. You can actually access it by removing a sticker here somewhere uh, as revealed by a Gadget Addict. Uh, there's a micro SD slot right here uh, and that is my own micro SD. You'll have to buy your own to expand the storage. All right, so here is the Cherry Mobile prepaid Cherry uh, Mobile Astro itself. And maybe you can see the pixels here. We are looking at a 3.5 inch half VGA. Uh, 320 by 480 resolution display. This is TFT, uh, so the viewing angles are not so great, uh, but it should serve fairly well uh, for the purpose. This is only 999 pesos. Anyway, uh, we're greeted with the Android 4.4.2 uh, KitKat uh, launcher with, you know, kind of a little bit of customizations here and there. Uh, this is uh, pretty much, you know, your basic Android phone, the extremely basic, I have to say super basic Android phone, uh, particularly because of the memory we're looking at here. If you look at the plastic that initially covered the phone, you'll see that it only has 512 megabytes of ROM and 256 megabytes of RAM. That's pretty small. As for the phone itself, it's a pretty standard uh, affordable device. As you can see, speaker grill right there, VGA camera right here, home button, back button, and menu button. Uh, on the left side, it has a uh, charging port, volume rocker on the bottom, a microphone. On the right side, there's nothing. And on top we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the power button. On the back we have the chair mobile logo, Astro logo, a uh, speaker grill, and this little texture right here, kind of like a crosshatch texture as you can see. And the uh, two megapixel camera with a uh, flash, surprisingly. Ergonomics of the phone itself is pretty okay. I'm not complaining, it actually is uh, responds pretty well. Uh, the buttons are fairly easy to reach and it's uh, easy to hold. It's kind of a thicker phone, but you know, not complaining here. Now the software itself, even though it runs on 4.4.2 KitKat and actually is fairly smooth for this kind of phone, uh, this is even with the one gigahertz single core processor and the low amount of RAM. Uh, the main problem here is the app install storage because you only get about 43, 43 megs before anything before anything is even installed or updated. So the problem here is you can't even update some of the apps. And one of the major apps that you cannot update is Google Play services, which means uh, running YouTube isn't even possible because you need a Google Play services. There you go. Surprisingly, even though the phone does not have enough space for even a pin drop of an app, there's still the cherry applications telling you to uh, kind of, you know, spamming your, your notification bar here. Uh, telling you to, you know, buy more of their services or something. But yeah, even though we have such a small storage, there's still time for bloatware. Uh, but anyway, there's an app called uh, Bonus Load to check the load for your Cherry prepaid SIM. 
Cherry Front Club, Cherry Prepaid app uh, to check your load and stuff like that. There's e-warranty, of course. Uh, one thing I like, though, is FM radio, but you will need uh, to uh, plug your 35 millimeter headphone to have an antenna for the FM radio. All right, so what ultimately the Astro comes down to is a very, 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 very limited phone because you can't install anything more than... 30 megs or something like that. So as you can see, I can't update my uh, Google text-to-speech, which is built in. Uh, the touchscreen is a two-point touchscreen, which is not bad. Here's the uh, Quadrant Standard uh, benchmark at 2013, if I can get out of focus. Just a little bit higher than HTC Desire HD. Here's some information if you're super interested. By the way, e every single app that I install, I have to uninstall to install the next app. So I installed the Quadrant just to install CPU-Z. Here's some information from CPU-Z if you're super curious. Uh, and then I can update Google Play services even without any apps or even any updated apps. So I can't update my Google Play services, which means I can't access my YouTube. I can't access my Gmail. Here's the Antutu benchmark, 6,794. Very, very low. But ca what can you expect? This is a single core processor. Now let's check out the uh, the camera samples. Uh, here is the, of course, it's a 2 megapixel uh, rear camera. I guess it's serviceable, but really, really really bad in, in in even in just decent lighting you know decent indoor lighting uh here is one where i took it over here with the box right there and uh with the lights that i have on here i only managed to pick up this kind of crappy low quality uh, shot uh and here's the front facing camera with the lights on on my face uh, i guess that's not actually that bad um, but that said, I had, you know, my, my video lights on this, these video lights that are reflecting off my screen. So you don't have these video lights and the quality is not that good. But then again, this is only 999 pesos. So I guess that's a pass. All right. So like I said before, there's very, 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 very little things you can install here. Not even Temple Run 1. Temple Run 1 is able to be installed into this phone without any other apps and without any other updates installed. Uh, you can't even install Temple Run 1. But I was able to install Tanimbala uh, on the phone and I could, uh, I'm able to play it. Uh, now you can hear the, uh, the speakers right now, which is decent but kind of tinny and not super loud. But you know, like I said, it's only a 999 peso phone that comes with a, a prepaid SIM card. Now, I wish the prepaid SIM card was, uh, they allowed us to remove the prepaid SIM card to move it to a, a bigger, better phone. But unfortunately, given the, uh, the situation that it is locked inside, you will have to sort of kind of cut around the, uh, the SIM, the hidden SIM, uh, sticker, uh, to get inside the, uh, the SIM slot, uh, to get your SIM out. So if you're gonna buy this, uh, either you're gonna cut out the SIM later on or stick with this kind of a very, very basic phone, which can only run Tanimbala. And pretty much that's it. You can't install anything else. Don't expect to install Facebook. Don't expect to install Twitter. Don't expect to install Instagram. Like I said before, you can't even uh, watch YouTube because I can't update my Google Play services, which YouTube requires. Uh, you'll be you'll be playing around with the browser very very, very a lot super duper a lot I mean that's the only thing you can do right now um, the all of the here's some of the apps you know you got a calculator you got a uh, browser uh, clock contacts email a uh, file manager FM radio uh, let's see what else you got music you got a notebook I guess and sound recorder video player. Uh, and that's about it because like I said the memory is so limited you can't install anything else So don't expect clash of clans Cannot be installed on this phone with no updates and no installed apps you clash of clans cannot be installed I uh, keep in mind that I do have a 32 gig class 10 SD card on the back which uh, Amazingly the phone can actually read but you know can't install uh, it can put OBB files on there But of course you still need that uh, like a 40 meg uh, uh, space on the uh, inside the internal, unless you root it, uh, to install any any game. So this is severely limited by the internal memory that's uh, remaining on the phone. So uh, if you're a app hog, you want to have apps, a lot of that, uh, even just Facebook on Instagram or whatever, you cannot use the Astro because it's severely limited unless you root it.
But you know, that being said, this is only a 999 peso phone with a free SIM with some freebies in that SIM. Unfortunately, you know, it's very, very basic. You can't install any app except Tanimbala, like I said before. Uh, you know, you do have a camera. You do have a front-facing camera, which you can't Skype on because you can't install Skype. So it's severely limited. You can use your browser to do a lot of things. So probably use your 3G uh, to uh, browse Facebook on your browser, you know. Uh, pretty basic phone. Uh, it's probably shouldn't be called an Android phone. It should be called like a like a feature phone with touchscreen and apps, an app, uh, a app, because otherwise you can't install anything else. But yeah, uh, there's your review of the Cherry Mobile Astro Big Time Bundle phone. Like I said before, this is the review of the phone itself and not the Cherry prepaid SIM. Uh, I really wish I could take the SIM out to test it on another phone because I won't be able to use the SIM at all in this kind of environment where I can't install apps. Anyway, thanks for watching. Alex from TechnoClass.com here. That's your review for the Cherry Mobile Astro phone uh, on the Big Time Bundle. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.